Today in our self-portraits, we are going to add shadows and paint at least the first layer of the background. Let's get going. Hello, my talented artists. forget to subscribe. I want to give you lots of options with whatever medium you want to use, but I also want to give you some guidelines. Um, the first guideline is every area that you are shading of yourself should have three values, light, medium, and dark area. You could have more than three, but it needs to have at least three. So we've already done the lightest part of the okay. skin. So watercolor pencil is really cool for a medium shade. And remember, you don't have to use realistic shades, even if you have a realistic skin color. Maybe I'll do a little purple. There's always shading, a little shading under the eyes. So you should always have shading under the eyes. There's always a little shading around the hairline. And if you have hair, if you have hair coming over like bangs, like, oh, I have a little strand here. Of course, you're going to have shading. My light was coming in from over here. So my shadows are going to be on this side. The shading changes depending on where the light's coming from. You're definitely going to want some shading on the side of your face. Now, this side for me is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna have more shading over here. Okay, so I definitely want some shading on this side. I think that cheek is a little bit too pronounced. Only do shading on one side of your nose. The tip of the nose stays light. The cheeks stay light. The chin stays the lightest, so don't touch those. The tip of the nose, the cheeks, the chin, and this part of the forehead, probably part of the eye lid as well under the nose that you'll have some darkness and of course on the neck and the shape of that shadow can be just a band if you want or if you know the light is coming from a certain angle you can look in the mirror it might be a little bit more triangular of a shape so i'm just lightly sketching in with my watercolor pencil Oh, under the mouth too. If you know the light is coming from this side, it's sort of a, a C shape around the chin a little bit, a little bit darker. If you're nervous about your shading, use a lighter color. Just do a little bit of shading, but make sure that you hit the important parts. You're also, look in the mirror, you're also gonna have some shading under your eyebrows too. This might be a little bold, but I'm going to use the darkest for right now. I'm gonna go under my neck. You might say, oh my gosh, Miss Gerrits, that's crazy. It is a little crazy. I've never done it. But I'm experimenting. I'm just going to do the darkest parts by doing this side of my face. Give it a little bit of oomph. Do my The nostrils are the darkest part. And we'll get to the eyes. I don't think you should do the eyes in marker, but if you feel confident doing that, you can. I decided to add a little more shading with some blue watercolor pencil before I broke out the water to activate the watercolor pencil and marker because it's watercolor marker. I'm just going to use a wet brush to activate the color. And what that does is it kind of smooths out the watercolor pencil. And if you start to think, oh my gosh, I ruined my piece. Don't worry too much because you don't have to like every piece you do, but don't ruin it or don't freak out on purpose. Come get me. Come get me. Take a break. And also know that um, it's probably not as bad as you think. If you have, like I have a little blue on my brush, you could go into the dark parts of your hair. Next week we'll do the hair. You might be surprised that at the end you really like it. So I'm just using water to activate the color and move it around. 
and fill in a variety of values going from dark to light. I have a tip for you. Once you get wet on there, um, you actually can use the watercolor pencil. It will just be darker. Don't put your hand on the wet part. So move your paper so your hand can be going off the edge. I want this side to be darker. So I'm going to use the blue colored pencil, but I don't want it to be as dark as the marker. So I'm not going to use the marker on this side. I'm actually just taking some of my blue color, my blue for my shadow. And using it on other parts of the face. If the paper is wet, the watercolor pencil goes on much, much darker. One of the darkest parts of your face are going to be your eyelash line, even if you have light eyelashes. I'm using a wet brush to just pull that value across the eyelash line. I know it looks a little spooky now, but once we get the eyes in, it'll look better. Remember that if you want to lift up the color from, from an area, just get a clean brush, wet it, press out any water, never go tap, tap, tap. And you can actually just lift up some of the color, wash your brush again, so you can make things lighter too. So now we're going to do the background. We're not doing the hair. We're going to go carefully around the background with a wet brush. So just cover your background with a layer of water. And then we are going to apply watercolor. You can apply the color many different ways. You can have it go from dark to light. You could do splotches of different color. It is whatever you want. Since my self-portrait is about being calm and happy, I'm going to have a green background. Do you see how when you put wet watercolor paint on wet paper, it spreads? It's a really nice effect. You don't have to do that. You could just do a wash like we did with the face. That's fine too. I'm not going to just have green. I'm going to have some of the colors that make green. And I want to make sure that I go right to the edge of the hair. I'm making an abstract background of greens and blues to convey my calm, happy emotions. I'm trying to see if I have any background down here. I'm not sure. I think there's a little triangle right there, which would be nice because it would tie it in. I also see that I missed a spot up here, so I want to get in there. Over here, though. over here, there's a little bit of background. <laughs> My brush is probably too big. Make sure you have a small brush for small areas. Okay, great. So now we have the shading in the face and the background done. Next week we can work on the hair and eyes. Mm -hmm.